the role that we have seen for uh, ECMO and COVID uh, has been that we've used it, uh, as we always do, to replace the, the functions of organs that are failing and allow patients a time to recover. In the case of most of the COVID patients that we've treated here, most of them have pure lung failure, although some of them have heart failure as well. ECMO is an acronym, and it stands for Extracorporeal Membrane Oxygenation, ECMO, even though it does a little bit more than that. So what it really is, is a modification of a heart-lung machine. Simply what it is, is a process of, of replacing the heart and lung function by draining the blood from the body, putting it through an artificial pump to replace the heart function, and putting it through an artificial lung, which allows us to remove carbon dioxide, add oxygen, and then return that oxygenated and carbon dioxide free or carbon dioxide lower blood back to the body um, in place of the lungs. And so what that does is it allows us to treat people who have profound heart, lung, or heart and lung failure and give their own body a chance to recover. We can replace the function of lungs that don't work at all and that gives their own lungs a chance to recover. They still need to be treated for infection and they still need to be treated for everything else that occurs. But by doing this, we give their own body a chance to heal. And one of the things that, that we believe strongly is that a lot of lungs do have the ability to heal and we're working on that and trying to find ways that we can make the lung heal faster and encourage lung healing rather than lung scarring. Because long-term, when you recover from that kind of a lung injury, a number of patients have lung scarring. And uh, although we don't know this yet for COVID disease, we also know that a lot of people who have very bad lung failure or some kinds of lung diseases eventually need lung transplantation. And so um, finding ways to get the lung to heal is the best thing for the patients.